All right, so let's talk about the Kong Ingold, Kong Ingold prelog laws that are rules that are used to assign basically priorities when we're looking at both doing the easy notation for alkenes, alkenes as well as looking at the RS notation when we start looking at chiral centers. Now, the Kong Ingold prelog rules are basically a way of us prioritizing which way we expect, which way we want to align the functional groups. So the way we're going to do this primarily is looking at the higher atomic numbers. So right now for this example, we're going to focus on this carbon. And we want to rank these four groups around this carbon in terms of their priority. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look one atom out. So we have four atoms out, carbon, carbon, oxygen, bromine. So the one that tanks rank, rank one is the one that has the highest atom atomic number, in this case, bromine. So bromine here is our highest group, it's number one. Next down the list is oxygen. Oxygen has a higher number of atomic number than oxygen or other carbon, so this would be second priority. What about carbons? They're ranked the same. Well, what we do next is we have two neighboring groups that have the same atomic numbers. We look at what's bound to them. So in this case, we have a carbon bound to three carbons, and we have a carbon bound to a hydrogen bound to another carbon. So for sake of this discussion, sorry, that should be a CH2 there. What we're going to do is we're going to write these out in terms of the elements that are bound to it. So this carbon is bound to a hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, and a hydrogen. This carbon is bound to three carbons. So we're going to rank the nearest bonded neighbors by their atomic numbers. So we've got a carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, carbon, carbon, carbon. What we want to do is we need to look at the first difference. So these two carbons are equivalent. This is a hydrogen, this is a carbon. So this would actually rank lower than this one. So this would be our third highest ranked. And this would be our fourth highest ranked. So this would be one, two, three, four. Now, let's say that these happen to be both C, H, and H. In this case, we would take what we'd expect to be the highest priority carbon or highest priority, highest priority thing that's bound to this carbon and keep going down the roots. Just keep going further and further out. Now, another thing to note about this, carbon can form four bonds. So let's say in, let's say these are both, I don't know. This case, C, carboxylic acid, and an aldehyde. How would we rank them in this case? Well, to rank them in this case, we're gonna treat a double bond as two bonds. So we would write this in terms of decreasing order, O, O, H, and this is O, O, O. So double count bonds count the element twice. Again, when we're looking at what's bound around the nearest atom, we wanna rank them in terms of highest priority to lowest priority based on their atomic numbers. So this has three oxygens, this has two oxygens and a hydrogen. So in that case, this would flip the assignment to make this the third highest priority and this the fourth highest priority. So this is how this system works. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create a way of prioritizing groups, basically ranking the groups in such a way that we can start assigning geometries for alkenes, it'll be easy, and for the um, chiral symbols, this will be the RS.